For these men, there are no words. Yet again, this community mourns. This time it's for a police officer who was shot for being a Shia Muslim. Each of the men here have lost family members in similar attacks. According to one estimate, over the last 10 years, nearly 3,000 Hazara Shias in Quetta have been killed in violent acts. In a community of 800,000, that's a big figure. And every month, the violence continues. On January 10th, two massive bomb blasts ripped through this street, killing over 100 people. Now, 86 people have been found and their bodies have been buried, but 17 are still missing. And locals say that they'll never find them, that their bodies were simply dispersed far too wide in the aftermath of that attack. Now, as you can see, the rebuilding and the damage is still clear, as clear as the grief felt by this community. The Isak Ali family knows what loss feels like. They gather for our camera. Two generations united in grief for Irfan, 19 years old, who died in that attack. Masmas, his sister. When she heard the news, she broke down, which was then followed by even more tragedy. My mother was so upset. We just tried to look after her. She was up all night thinking that Irfan was only injured. When she found out he was dead, she died on the spot. I'm so angry at the people that have done this to us. Masma's anger at her brother's killers is shared by many here. They live in fear, fear that more attacks will come. Fear that, as it's happened in the past, their children will be pulled off buses and shot. Offshoots of the banned group Sipa'e Sahaba have claimed responsibility for all of the attacks on the Hazara Shias. One local Hazara leader is very careful not to name the group, but says if things don't change, then the results could tear Pakistan apart. Then uh, the civil war starts. Is, uh, is everyone knows that Hazaras are definitely a very peaceful people. We are education-oriented people. We, we are peace-loving people. We never want to involve in such activities in which I think the civil war starts. So for how long we should bear it? For people here, though, it's not civil war but remembrance that occupies them. They've placed flags above the final resting place of those who've been killed to signify they died of violence. Ten years ago, scarcely a flag flew. Today, the flags grow in number. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Quetta.